Um, well, hello, Central Texas football fans. It's DJ Ramirez. I'm here with the head coach of the Wartham Bulldogs, Chad Coker, and senior running back Tanner Bean. Um, it's a very uh, special game tomorrow, I guess, as it's the end of the regular season, and y'all had a pretty fantastic season this year. But um, starting out with Tanner, uh, you know, you lead the team. Uh, in rushing and you're I guess third in the central Texas area but how much do you kind of enjoy that role and in, in um playing you know running back for for the Bulldogs it's very fun uh, yeah. this season has been kind of different than it has in the past I mean our opponents haven't been in the race so played <laughs> half a game for a while but uh I enjoy the role a lot and then um now asking you, Coach, similar question, what what kind of role do you feel like Tanner has played for the team this year and what attributes uh, contribute to that? Yeah, I mean, Tanner always plays a strong role on our team. We, we, we know he's an explosive running back and he's capable, capable of playing many positions for us. But, uh, you know, he's capable of taking, taking over a game at any time. Uh, we got a great line in front of him and he, he, he runs behind their blocks. And, uh, um, you know, like he said, he he could have a lot more yards, but we've held him out. We've held him out of the games just because of you know last year he had a season ending injury at the second district ball game and and we didn't want that to happen again going for before the playoffs. So he uh, he's actually already played half the game or half of the game before our district game. So um, but you know I know he's he's, he's fine with that. He, he he's a, he's a team player. Uh, you know he's he's one of those guys. He's gonna do whatever we ask him to do, offensively, defensively, special teams, and and uh, no. It, this year he's had a special year as far as breaking a lot of records of our, of our school records just, just in, in multiple categories. So, um, And speaking about that injury from last season, mm -hmm. but how what was that recovery process like for you? And uh, how did that impact your, your mindset coming back uh, for your senior year? Uh, it definitely pushed me to work a lot harder. I had a lot of, a lot of things to overcome. Like, uh, when it comes to recovery, it, just takes patience and the want to. If you got the want to, you can come back from anything. So this does mm -hmm. a lot of it. Okay. Um, do you mind moving over towards coach a little bit? I just don't think <laughs> yeah, sorry. I you're fully in the camera. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, uh, you're also a multi sport athlete. So uh do you kind of prefer one over the other or is it uh, something about football that kind of stands over the rest and, you know, motivates you in a particular way? Uh, I mean, I I try to work as hard as I can in any sport. I don't like losing, so I try to be the best I can. But definitely uh, football is my favorite sport. I uh, follow NFL, college games all the time. So I love what I enjoy watching football and I definitely enjoy playing it. And what about the game particularly mo motivates you and, and being on the field and kind of, you know, makes you enjoy it a bit more? Um, I don't know. I just – I like embracing the leadership role, just making everyone – try to do the best I can to make everyone around me better. Um, that's – it makes it – it's a lot of fun whenever everybody is having fun and we're all doing everything, working together as a team to, to be the best we can be. And we start dominating this – something to really something to enjoy um from your point of view you know being on the field kind of bringing a little bit of that leadership but what's the team's mindset you know going into this last game and preparing for the postseason uh really just to tighten down and fix things that we have struggled with um just get better every single day every single snap and do our job and we'll definitely come out with the win if we do that um, coach, moving over to you, a little bit more of a broader scope, but um, you know you're you're playing Dawson. I'm guessing is it tomorrow? Did y'all move up the game? We moved the game up to tomorrow because the, you know everybody's moving about in case of a strong thunderstorm possibilities. So mm -hmm. we don't want to have the game delayed until Saturday. Okay. Uh, well, uh, what's the scouting report on on Dawson? Kind of uh, what do y'all see them bringing, and how how do you prepare for that? Uh, they've got a they got a freshman quarterback that can throw it really well. Uh, they they have some outstanding receivers. You know, they're I know Mark kind of got after them last week, but they're eight they're, they're eight no for a reason. They they're eight one now after playing uh, Mark, but um, it's always it's always a rivalry there. So 
Uh, we know it's going to be it's one of those tough, hard nosed games. Uh, it was it was last year. It was a battle. So, but we know going in that we have to stop their passing game. That's that's where they excel at. And uh, you know, we feel we we feel like we got. It, you know, the weather shouldn't really be a factor tomorrow night, but we feel like we can we can operate our multiple assets of our offense too, as far as running and throwing the ball against them as well. Good. Uh, what are some of the key things that you know, your team has to do in order to be successful? Um, I mean, we got to eliminate the mistakes. We got to cut down on turnovers. We have to eliminate the penalties that we've had that so it's cost us. And you know, the two games that we've lost uh, have been been like turnovers and penalties have, have been a big factor in those. Um, you know, we felt like we played more better than we ever have here this last couple of weeks, a uh, couple of weeks ago. So you know, we felt like we eliminate those mistakes. We're getting close to to beating those guys. So uh, that's we got some tough competition coming up, and you know, with Dawson this week and then in the playoffs. So we got to eliminate those mistakes to to go as far as we did, and hopefully go farther than we did last year. And is there anything out of this game in particular that y'all want to take out, um, especially going into the playoffs and you know, kind of building on on that for motivation heading into uh, the postseason? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, I didn't know if you were talking. You talking to both of us? Uh, either one of you can answer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, the same thing. We want we want to go in. Uh, you know, obviously we want to go on positive notes. We want to we want to have a strong showing this game. We want to eliminate all mistakes and, and play, you know, click on all cylinders, offense, defense, and special teams. So we know that's going to, it's going to take all three phases to to win, win and and excel in, in playoffs. So we got to make sure we we uh, focus on those things going into this game. All right, and uh, I got one more question for Tanner. Um, okay. Coach mentioned earlier that you know you've set a, a ton of school records this year, but you know what what does that mean for you? And and I guess the sort of legacy that you're leaving at Wortham. Um, I mean, it's a it's a blessing to be able to do those things. Um, it's definitely not my for I've worked hard, but if without without God and without our offensive line, I would not have done that. They've always done a good job and just allowed me to make plays. It wasn't all about me. It's definitely about my teammates doing their job too.